Hey guys, RC here. Football Manager 20. This is episode 15 of our Home on the Range Rovers Save Forest Green. Last episode, we had a double header of clean sheet action. Since then, we played Tranmere, a 3 0 clean sheet win. Farron Rawson with an early goal, Elliot Freer from the wing, and Sigurd Gronley with a late penalty for the icing on the cake. Sunderland, a tightly fought 1-0 contest. Aaron Collins scored early. Uh, Luke 09 was sent off in the 73rd minute, and we held on there. So currently, we are top of the table, boys. Ten wins, three draws, four losses, 33 points. And a plus 19 goal differential, which gives us the advantage over Rotherham currently. Taking a look at the schedule, we've still got a ways to go. I mean, there's a long way to go until uh, May. We're not even at the at the mid-break yet for uh, transfers. So uh, two months to go till the holidays are over. <sighs> but... Back at the top of the table, so that's a good thing. We are in pretty good form. We had that real bad hiccup here, but we have really turned it on as of late. Uh, today we're going to have a cup action, uh, FA Cup against Dover at home, and then a home game against Stevenage in the Leasing.com trophy. As we mentioned last episode, we are currently top of the table. They do want us to reach the second round there. And this will be first round action, and they want us to reach the third round at a minimum. So let's get into it. We are home. Uh, Dover looks like they've only just started playing. I wonder why that would be. Dover is in England, right? They shouldn't shouldn't they be on the same English file? Unless they're a league that we're not playing and that's not turned on. Maybe. Because I, I you know, yeah, White Cliffs of Dover, right? Southern coast of England can see it from the English Channel. I've seen pictures of it. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. All right, we are favored here, so let's get into it. We're going to keep going with our 4-4-1-1. Uh, we are going to go, uh, you know what, let's go attacking today, early going. And one of our guys, where's he at? Jones. Lloyd Jones has really been whinging about uh, not playing enough. So he is very unhappy. Evidently, it was some uh, agreed upon playing time or something of that nature. Let's bring him on for Talbro. And then we'll bring him on for Rawson, I suppose. Rawson can play right and center. We'll give him a little bit of action. See what happens. I, you know, I gave him the speech. I said, you know, prove. I sent the teammate to try to talk to him. Uh, didn't work. And uh, so I talked to him and I said, hey, you know, I'll start you in a couple of cup games. Show me you deserve to start. Because he's fourth on our depth chart at center back. He's just not going to play a lot. And I think we've got a penalty here. I think Collins picked up a penalty. And who's going to take it? Bonzangala with the penalty there. And it's white. Uh, he just places that home right in the corner. Harvey White's second goal of the season. I'd like to see some more goals out of him, but boy, he is deadly accurate. What did we say? He's got a 17 or an 18 rating in uh, in penalty taking. It's pretty, pretty drastic. Uh, Kennedy gets onto the end of that header. Cannot slot it home, but does earn the corner. So we will get another set piece here in the fifth minute of action. That one's cleared out of play. So they're playing a modified 4-3-3. Oh, I thought we were going to get a shot there. Oh, poked away. Perch clears it out. O'Connor is beaten. He's sitting on a yellow card. Looks like our defense got back here. They held it up in the midfield long enough. Some deliberate play by Dover. There's an interception over the top. Collins is on it. And he, oh, what a turn. 
What a turn of the hips to open him up and put him on the right foot. Got it to the far post. Brilliant goal by Aaron Collins. Number 10 on the season for him. And Elliot Freer with the assist from our side of the field. And looks like Pilge took him down. No card. But it does earn them a penalty. Ah, he went the right way, just couldn't get to it. Second goal of the season for James Perch, and Dover is back in this one. 2-1 to one score, 14th minute. Yeah, I don't need to watch that again. We need to, uh, let's get creative here, fellas. So much action in the first 15 minutes, and I have not uh, given a shout yet. Uh, flick on header. Oh, he's taken down. There's an advantage. Oh, uh, come on. I think you need to give us the set piece there. If you give the advantage, if you play advantage and nothing happens, you can come back and give them the set piece. Oh, there's another dirty foul. Come on, boys. Uh, he needs to be off. Yep, there's a red card sent off. Push forward. Oh, I thought he was going up for the header, but Kennedy pulls back, does a volley on the throw-in. Third goal of the season, and that gives us a 3-1 advantage. That was a nice decision there by Kai Kennedy. Liking that. Another long throw. Yusuf Merson goes up, makes the play on the ball. Good play by the Dover keeper there. Man, sometimes just horrible decisions with the heading there. Woo, and Jones is the guy that got beat. Come on, you wanted to start there, buddy. I need to see a little more from you. It says you're playing a 6-8, but you know what? I didn't see it right there. They just picked up an injury, had to make their second sub. Oh, you know, I did not notice if uh, things reset. I did shut down the game, reloaded it. So I don't think that came back, though. All right, prove a point. I do have three cards. Watch your step. Hand over to the assistant. And let's pull back to positive. Uh, what do we want? Oh, concentrate, right? We don't. Ooh, they're overwhelmed. How dare you make us concentrate? Yeah, I haven't seen this, guys. So if you have, you know, again, if you have any ideas on how to get this to reset, usually there was a lot, like a little line there that you could drag or something, but I don't see it. Aaron Collins off the throw in. Let's go ahead and make a sub there. Um, O'Connor, two assists. Let's bring on Kitching over there. Shepard, we're going to bring on Rawson out wide. You know what? Uh, yeah, let's do that. Do I want to make a triple sub? Not yet. Not yet. 11th goal of the season for Aaron Collins. That was nicely done. They're still playing pretty stacked up there. Oh, uh, there's a header. Harvey White. Third goal of the season. He actually gets one from a set piece in play. Nice job. Five to one. All right, let's go into our tactics. We are going to slow the pace down. Uh, in possession, we are going to do a little more time wasting. And I also want to take off work into box. And once that's done... All right, let's make our last sub here. All right, so White and Collins I cannot pull off because you guys would have a mutiny. Uh, Mid-right, George Williams, Ashley Hunter. Let's bring Hunter on for... All right, Kai Kennedy can go back and play mid-center, right, for Pilge. Pilge can go over to mid left for freer and then ashley hunter and then we'll swap those two guys there we go all right 
takes a little bit of work sometimes. But eventually we can connect the dots, get them to work. All right, Ross and Jones all the way back to the keeper. O'Malley, the alley cat. Pills gets tackled, through ball, and offsides. Really? Okay, I need to see that one again. Oh, my God. That's, that's questionable. I think that's questionable. Let's praise them here in the final minutes. Fire them up. And that's bad. Um, all right, we're going to bring Rawson. I mean, he's going to have to be off. I mean, I can't. I'm going to drop you guys back to wing backs. We've got a big enough lead. I don't think it's going to cost us there, but there we go. All right, pretty dominant performance. 30 shots, 12 on target. Liking that. Uh, let's tell them assertively, very good performance. Don't let it go to your heads. All right, we will have the uh, FA Cup second round draw in two days. So we'll come back for that, and then we'll have our next match. Nice little chunk of change, $46,000. Uh, kitching, ooh, four to five weeks. Had a couple of firings up in the uh, championship. Collins with two goals and seven headers. All right, we'll be back for that draw here in just a minute. All right, I am not going to do the long drawn out. There's 55 teams. I'm just going to do all teams. That's just how I go. And here we are, League One Forest Green against Bonorama National League side Borum Wood. Now that's below us, correct? Yeah, two leagues below us. Cool. So we should win that game. And that gets us to the third round, which is where the uh, board wanted us to be. All right, we'll be back for Stevenage here in just a second. I forgot to mention Jaden Brown is out. Um, he's going to be out three more weeks with a hamstring strain. Uh, he was our starter at left back and uh, so he's been out for a little while before last episode I'm pretty sure um, let's see favorites in this one I'm just gonna go positive Rawson let's go ahead and start Titov and oh no okay Kitching Brown White has moved to left back is that what I want to do um, O'Connor's tired. Kitching. I think I want McGinley there. Let's do McGinley. White. And then... Jo oh, see, Jones wanted to play, but now he's tired. What a puss. Uh, let's bring on, uh, 22 years old. You know what? Let's bring him on, but then we're going to put him back up here and there. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so Backinson's going to get, I think this is his debut. Nope, he's played one match. Doesn't play a lot. I think this is the first video we'll see him in. So we'll have a few new guys here. Come on, fellas. You can do it. So White's going to be playing out of position. Backinson in the central. We're going to go with the early creativity. There's our there's our guy. Well, he was a little aggressive there, liking it. Kennedy beats his man, loses it. A good run on by Kennedy there. Titov with the overlap. Oh, poor pass. Looking for Backinson in the central mid. Oh, there's a good interception by Freer. He's into the attack zone and slots it home. His sixth of the season. What a drive in by the left winger. 
Gotta like that. Early one goal advantage. 1-0 in the first minute of play. This is driving me up the wall. <laughs> A header goes over the keeper, and that's number 12. And even dozen goals for Aaron Collins on the season. Titov with the assist. It was a nice little, uh, well, nice throw and just a cheeky little flick on header. It goes over the keeper. Gotta like that. All right, Titov pounces again. He's on a run down the right flank. Can't find a way past his man. Back to Gronley. Takes a touch. Beats the keeper with his left peg. Fifth goal of the season at the back post. And we are up 3-0. We're going to drop back to balanced. Uh, it's too early to start doing time wasting. But let's just kind of slow it up. Right? Slow it up. Uh, we're going to praise. I think we can praise him here. I think that's allowable. All right, the defense is tightened up. White with the throw. And I think we've got a penalty there. And White's going to line up to take it. You never count these before they go in, but White is pretty much Mr. Automatic. Fourth goal of the season as he finds the tally sheet again. Very good game thus far. Really outplaying Stevenage big time. Everybody's calm, confident. They're, they're, they've checked out. It's going to be a long halftime for those guys. Pretty dominant statistically. Uh, we appreciate the efforts. Uh, tactically, tactically, let's uh, let's take that off. Let's take off run at defense. Try to try to you know we'll pass a little more. You know what if we dial up our passing? I like that. And yeah, everything else there is fine. I like that. Start the second half up, please. Keeper's been complacent. Yeah, don't know what I was trying to do there. All right. Well, the keeper's lucky. We had, he had two guys behind him ready to put that one away. Doing good so far, liking the game, liking the way we're playing. We are outclass. Oh my god, I was gonna say we're outclassing their side, but that was a very creative goal. Simeon Jackson, his seventh of the season. Yeah, we could have done a little bit better there, fellas. All right, let's go ahead and make a few subs here. I should have started Smith in this one, to be honest. Um, Ebu Adams. Let's rest. Uh, let's rest. Pills here. And you know, Backinson has a fourteen passing, so he's good up there. Let's bring in uh, Ashley Hunter, and I've got two right backs, but I don't want to start. Don't want to bring on Williams. Maybe let's bring on Williams for Kennedy. We'll make a typically rare triple sub here. I don't usually do triple subs this early. Oh, my God. We just got beat again. Luckily, Simeon Jackson was offsides this time. And I, I think that was a horrible call. I think that was very similar to our offsides call last match. Uh Let's concentrate, because I think you guys are losing the plot here. He dribbles in a big circle, spins our guy around. Eleanor Rigby in the central mid. I'm good. 
Good header away. Good tackle away. Oh, there's an interception. Hunter's on a breakaway. Oh, and he slots it home for his eighth of the season. What a goal. That was a nice, nice counterattack off the tackle. Gotta like that one. Oh, and he just beat the center back on the pass back with authority. Puts that one home. Cruising, 5-1. Let's praise him, fire him up. There you go. Groundley's going to probably need a rest next match. White goes short. Freer. Ooh. Tidov got stuck in a little bit. Jackson gets past. Oh, there's a big tackle. Who did that? Who was that? McGinley. There you go. Cleared out. Freer. Up the left flank. Crossed in. Cleared out. Uh, tackle. A slide tackle right to the other player. Oh, uh, he puts it in near post. That cut inside to the left. You saw that drew our keeper back in just a step, and then he put it right past him. Ow. All right, well, 5-2. I think uh, you know they got a little lucky with both of their goals. But that's okay. That gives us uh, six points, and we're right there with Arsenal's under-23 side. All right. Got a ways to go there, but yes, we do appreciate the efforts. So where do we come back? Stevenage blow their qualification. Oh, we qualified. There we go. All right, $13,000. Gronley with a goal. You did a good job. All right, let's check our competitions now. All right, so leasing.com. Now we're going to be in, in uh, what's next? Second round. Oh, this is drawn tomorrow. Well, let's do that real quick. I didn't see it on the calendar here, but that's all right. All right, so let's see. Let's take a look here. We have 10, 16 teams. All right, Portsmouth. In League One, Crystal Palace, Northampton Leagues Two, so a couple of League Two teams there. Bournemouth under twenty, Bournemouth and Tottenham square up. All right, Millwall, MK Dons, Colchester and Ipswich. All right, there we are. Who's left? Wimbledon, Arsenal's under twenty threes, Charlton, Cheltenham, and Southampton. I don't know if we can play Arsenal in the second round since we came out of group. I guess we could. Wimbledon. All right. And there's the rest of your draw. And we will be the home side, so good deal. All right, who do we come back for? Do we come back for second round FA Cup? Or do we come back in January? Let me know in the comments how much you know how much are you guys interested in the cups. I try to mix them up, but I think the FA Cup is the big one, you know, so I'd like to show that one more than the leasing.com, but and we we haven't met qualification yet. They want us to reach the third round, so but we're kind of dragging out here, guys. I mean, you know, we need to get some matches going here. Um, I think we've already hit, this is our fifth episode this season and we've only we're only in our starting our fourth month uh so yeah i think we're gonna go a little ways i'm gonna go ahead and get past the second round here against boreham wood assuming we advance and we'll see we'll come back for one episode in december probably that third round assuming we advance plus whatever league match and we'll get past that and then we'll come back uh and we'll have uh I think I want to go ahead and just kind of get through January and then get into the transfer special. Uh, taking a look at finances, we are we are well under 
but we have been hemorrhaging money. And, you know, this is a weakness in my understanding of the game. I don't really get the ballot, the finances. Um, but yeah, we're, we're, we're bleeding out here. Half a million in the hole this season. And most of that is player salaries, but we do have a lot of staff salaries. I'm wondering if that's not something I need to, and we don't even have the best staffs. I mean, I still have holes and if I got rid of a coach, we would be below average, right? But I might get rid of my head of youth development. How much does he make? Contract info. Yeah, he's making 81000 All right, so it still cost us a good bit. But that that's going to save us a little bit of money, right? I mean, 81000 and we're, you know... You guys know me. If with a four point seven million payroll, normally I'd be right around four, four and a half to four seven, and I'm, I think I'm showing remarkable self control <laughs> that I'm not spending that money, uh, and it's good that we don't need to. But I can't really go up because we're we're, we're losing money so bad, and really I want to try to get this up. We need to get profitable. Um, so yeah, that's the game plan. Uh, if you like what you're seeing, let me know in the comments. Uh, let me know what you think of the results today. And uh, we will see. And if you guys have any financial advice, hey, hit me up in the comments with that as well, because it certainly couldn't hurt. And we'll see you next time. Bye.